it is April 24th, 2015, and it's been a long time since I've done an update, but I have done a lot, um, as you can see, since last year. It's ex expanded this, put it in an herb spiral. So, got a lot going on this year got these IBC totes. I still have yet to put in a gutter and hook them up, but they're in place. Here's the raspberry. It's not doing too well, um, but the blackberries this year have just taken off. You can see they're flowering. Got all kinds of stuff going on here. Some, some beans, some strawberries. Let's see there. Oh. A jujube tree. Another blackberry. Actually, we got some carrots left over from the winter Here's some comfrey ready to plant got a bare root elderberry that I just put in uh, I don't know if it's gonna live or not so we'll see but I got different butternut squash and Cucumber, watermelons, cantaloupe, um, little seedlings popping up. Planted some okra. Here's a tomato, another strawberry, a little goji berry plant. Another blackberry. And look at the size of that comfrey. It's flowering. It's the second time it's flowering. And then the black beauty mulberry. Got some peppers back here, some little pepper plants. Salad burnet that's flowering. And here's a grape. It's a flame seedless grape. So we'll try it out and see how it does. Both of my fig trees, I have a Celeste and a brown turkey, they both froze goes down to the roots this year, but I think they're about to sprout. Here's down turkey. And a Celeste. I just ordered a, it's called Violet de Bordeaux fig, and it's supposed to be a little more cold hardy, so I'm going to try that. Another blackberry. And a salad, another salad burnet. Put lemon balm in. Just got all kinds of stuff going on this year. So, uh, strawberry. Another raspberry. Jerusalem artichokes. And that's arugula that I planted last fall. Another pepper plant and a kale plant that I planted last fall. It's flowering, pretty flowers. Got some herbs here, the sage, some garlic chives I just put in, some 
grew another tomato plant and another tomato plant. We have some sun golds and some celebrity tomatoes. There's fennel back there. We have a volunteer sunflower. Now this whole area well, it used to be grass. I sheet mulched it. And we planted some squash under here. Let me come around and I'll get a get a better angle. We'll come back around. Here's this is a vitex or chase tree. I planted some Egyptian walking onions yesterday. There's actually a uh, borage. These are some squash plants. This is a Fuyu persimmon that I got on clearance in the fall. And I didn't even know if it was going to live or not. I didn't know if it was dormant or dead. But it's come back nicely. It's actually flowering. I was noticing that yesterday. It's about to flower. So, pretty excited about that. This is our herb spiral. Got a selection of herbs here. And they're all doing pretty well. We kind of kind of did a little took a little bit from the Google culture technique and put some some old wood and branches and stuff underneath the in the bottom and then filled it in with soil and mulch. It's doing nice, pretty good so far. There's some mint. I mean, I planted this rosemary. I just put this plum in a few weeks ago. And I planted comfrey, lemon balm, and garlic chives under it. There's some more arugula. A celebrity tomato. More arugula and kale and my peach tree, which is a spalliard. And actually, it actually flowered, and I actually have some little baby peaches. Just a few. So, hopefully, I'll have some peaches this year. And then hopefully next year I'll have many peaches. So here's some mint in a pot, some more kale, and some more carrots left over from last uh, from the winter, from the fall. So a lot has happened since my last video. So I hope you all enjoy it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those. But I'm pretty happy, so. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this is a Black Beauty mulberry, and it actually has. I'm gonna have some mulberries this year too, so I'm excited. So, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching, and. Yeah, thanks for watching.